What is up everybody, it's King Kunta, and today I will be bringing you another World of Warcraft gold farm. And before I go ahead and begin this farm, I'd like to ask if that you guys could maybe show some support by maybe leaving a like, uh, maybe comment, subscribe, and also check out the links in the description below as I've got links to all my important stuff on my channel such as like my computer specs and good stuff like that. But as you can see, I'm actually killing raptors right now in a undisclosed location, uh, unknown to you of course right now. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you exactly where this location is at, and you can kind of already get the gist of it. So if we look here, I'm in Azuna, which is quite easy to get to, and the one thing we're looking for is this world quest called Blood Gazer Swarm. Now this world quest has the ability to give you tons upon tons of gold when this world quest is active. Now, the reason this can give you tons of gold is if you are a skinner and you actually do take advantage of this farm, these mobs will constantly spawn over and over again as long as you do not kill the eggs. So, you can literally kill these mobs constantly and just keep skinning them over and over again, and it, it literally is one of the, if not, like, best gold farms I've seen in a while here on the channel, at least. Um, and as you can see using this farm is just this easy and there are literally swarms upon swarms of all of these so as you see here I'm actually getting a ton, ton of drops and this spot is actually quite competitive in that tons of people are here uh, trying to do the same thing as you so just so you know I would watch out for that you also do get a chance to uh, have a pet drop from these which is actually quite cool but as you can see, just the leather uh, from this farm itself is quite good on its own. Now, as uh, we kind of all know, stone high leather is kind of falling down a little bit uh, on the market, as you can kind of see by the prices just indicated on it, uh, which I'll show you here real quick. Uh, let's see if I can find our leather. There it is. So as you can see, this much leather is only worth about 66 gold right here, but you honestly saw how easy it, to, it literally took me like one minute to get that much gold. And if you are lucky enough to be following around people that uh, do just only kill the uh, raptors and they don't skin them or anything like that, you can actually just follow them around and continue to skin all of them. But as you can see, kind of just what I'm doing right here, this is really all you have to do with the farm. Other than making sure that you don't get nuked yourself, uh, that the raptors don't kill you, which you do have to watch out for. Because uh, if you pull too many of them at one time, they will kill you. And uh, that can be quite irritating sometimes, but that's kind of really the only thing you need to worry about. Obviously, I'm like not the best player, so as you can see, uh, I obviously didn't like use any sort of rotation whatsoever on them and uh, these actually are quite easy to kill uh, very fast and while you're speed running it and uh, you can literally just go through all of them pick up all this stuff that's all just vendor trash you're gonna end up having to get rid of later and uh, you can just go through skin every one of them like this and all you need is skinning and it can even be level one uh, skinning so you don't even need to max out your skinning to get here. And as you can see, I've already got, you know, 100 gold worth of skin. And we're just going to go around and kill all of these. Uh, I imagine this character I have right now is not kitted out with, like, a ton of, leg or, you know, all legendaries and everything. But I imagine if you're kitted out, you know, full, full mythic uh, gear and stuff like that, you should be able just to go ahead and kill these super quickly. As you can see, some guy actually did kill all these and just kind of leave their skin here. So what I'm going to do, and this is actually what I advise you do as well, is take advantage of this situation uh, and go ahead and skin all of these. If you're lucky enough to be the one guy that's here skinning all these, you can actually get a ton of leather out of this. Um, now I've been just kind of saving and uh, stacking these up over the past, uh, I want to say, while now. Just loading them all off on the auction house now while I can. Uh, so just kind of letting you know, guys know now, while there is a market for stolen high leather, you probably should farm it. Uh, I definitely recommend farming it now because as soon as Battle for Azeroth comes out and we have the new mats, uh, this stone hide leather is going to be, uh, you know, in a word, pretty much not exactly useful anymore. So it's, it's definitely more worth it if you're going to farm stone hide or have always wanted to try it or start it or something like that and you want to begin doing that, this farm is very good for that, and you can also pick up a ton of the stone hide now before it's gone. 
Now that's all I really have for the farm portion of this. If you want to stay tuned, I will continue to talk about uh, the farm and how to sell these on your auction house and the best way to get rid of them. And basically just some extra tips and tricks that I kind of didn't tell in the video. So if you do stay tuned, you will actually get some better uh, tips and tricks on how to sell these off and stuff like that. So I'm going to cut the video now and we'll see you after that. Bye. Alright everybody, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go ahead and show you the price of it on my auction house right now and explain kind of the best way to sell these mats off on your own server or and or auction house. So we're just going to look up stone hide real quick and as you can see it's going for about two gold piece right here on my server so we don't want to do what this guy's doing right here. We don't want to sell piece by piece because that is like the worst way to get rid of all your stock. Um, many of the mats in Legion right now require up to about 50-ish stone leather between them all. So 50 is a good number to go ahead and split your stacks into if you want them to sell at the auction house quick. Um, that's what I have been doing and every piece of stone hide I have put on the auction house so far has actually sold. I've not actually had one auction expire. And as you can see, 5 go for about 15 there. And if we just keep going up, obviously we're just going to see the prices kind of steadily increase, uh, as you can see. And the region average daily sold is about 4,000 right now on my server, which is quite good. If you see anything that high, it's definitely something you should probably go out and farm. Uh, so yes, I personally sell my stacks in stacks of 50 because I find it's just easier for me to manage and get rid of if you sell in stacks of 200 you can kind of it's kind of more a pain in the butt if you see here because you can only really price it that much whereas when i split it into stacks of 50 i am actually able to sell them off a little bit quicker and i can price them a little bit higher so it's like people that don't need exactly 200 but they need more than 20 and they can't really go by 10 so it's kind of right in the area this is my personal technique for selling stone hide leather you can of course apply your own any which way that you want this is just what I do and what I recommend and what I've been doing for, for, since probably about the start of Legion. Now, in that, that's really all you kind of need to know. Um, if you do want to make the whole skinning process easier, uh, if you're an engineer, you can get the Lutarang. Uh, you can actually build that yourself. Uh, also, I always recommend to be a droid for some of these farms just because you can skin well in travel form or something like that, so you can just constantly be moving. It's much easier. Droid is definitely one of those uh, characters that's kind of a gathering one, so I definitely recommend doing that. Or there is also a mount that you can get that you will not dismount while skidding. And those are kind of the three things that I'd recommend. Maybe other than that, a vendor trash mount. But kind of adding anything else onto that farm would really be a little bit too much. I think we're kind of at the right limit with where we're at. Now that's really all I had for the extra tips and tricks. If you did find this video useful or helpful, uh, I'd like to ask you guys maybe to leave a like, comment, or maybe even subscribe down below if you did really enjoy it that much. Um, and that's really all I have it for the video. Uh, now I'm going to talk about kind of what's going on with my channel, so stay tuned if you would like to hear some of that. If you don't, you can leave now. Well, first things first, got a couple new things starting up. So my channel's actually been growing quite quickly, um, well I want to say quickly by my standards, for the past about a month now, and we're, we're building up quicker and quicker and quicker and quicker, and I'm actually quite excited to see this. And I think, so these are the, the plans I have for the future of the channel so far. So the day Battle for Azeroth release, I actually took that day off work and I am scheduling a live stream. I think I'm going to do it for about 12 hours. I don't know. I don't know if that's too much. If you guys think 12 hours is too much, let me know down below. I think I could do 12 or 10. I'm thinking 10 hours would be okay, because like I could do a 10 hour shift at work. I could probably do a 10 hour shift playing a video game. Um, so that is definitely going to be something that happens. It will happen. Uh, so definitely be excited for that. Also, um, we're almost at 5k. Uh, once I do reach 5k, I actually need to do something for the channel. Uh, I make, I'm kind of want to let the subscribers vote on that. I kind of thought of like dyeing my hair a funny color or something like that for 5 or 10k or something like that. So if you guys think that'd be something cool maybe to do, maybe let my subscribers pick what color I dye my hair. 
uh, I definitely think that would be interesting and I think that'd be cool. So I'll let you guys choose that. Obviously I won't do a face reveal, but you'll see my hair, I guess, in that. So let me know if that's something that you want to see. And uh, if you do, then let me know down below. And it's King Kunta, and I'll see you in the next video, everybody. Bye.